Hey guys, Gamerzak here and welcome to my top 10 PC space games to watch in 2016. Now, space games, they take us to the final frontier, crossing impossible distances to alien worlds and galaxies that act as a stage for hope and conflict. Well, it's time you turn to your cosmic horizon and set sail to these stars. First up, we have Infinity Battlescape by iNove Studios. A procedurally generated multiplayer space sim where hundreds of players compete across a true-to-scale solar system. Seamless transitions means combat can go from space to surface where your objective is to destroy your enemies and their infrastructure through bombardment and an array of ships. Raising over $300,000 on Kickstarter, it's just about hit its base goal. It looks promising, but it still has a long way to go and hopefully they do actually have enough money to keep this going. Next we have Into the Stars by Fugitive Games. Some calling this Oregon Trail in space, here we have an open world space game where you play as the captain and pilot of your spaceship as you guide your crew through a massive star system. Outfit your ship, pick your crew and journey out, collecting resources, sheltering civilians and trading with alien races while you outrun or outgun your enemies. It's available in early access but has mixed reviews on Steam. The game looks great and seems to have passion behind it, but its early access state is still rife with problems. So maybe just keep an eye on this one for now. Then we have The Mandate by Perihelion Interactive. Calling itself a complete sci-fi experience, The Mandate is kind of an RPG with spaceship combat and a big focus on the crew of your ships. You need to survive in a universe of pirates, mercenaries, and powerful factions. Manage the chain of command, target enemy subsystems to mess with their crew, and board enemy ships all while making allies and enemies. The game raised over $700,000 on Kickstarter and looks promising, but it also looks like it still has a ways to go. Next up we have Fractured Space by Edge Case Games. Fractured Space is a team-based space combat game with gigantic capital ships. Choose a class, customize your loadout, and strategize your way to victory. 5v5 team battles makes this kind of a MOBA, but it has its own twist on the mechanics. The game is in early access now on Steam and has been getting mostly positive reviews, but some people say the game lacks personality. You'll have to check it out to see if it's your cup of tea. And then we have Firefly Online by Quantum Mechanics and Sparkplug Games. Based on the cult classic TV show Firefly, this game is a strategic online RPG of sorts where you take on the role of captain, hire a crew, and adventure out into space. Find jobs to keep yourself flying and to explore storylines in RPG fashion, though they do encourage you to misbehave on your quests. The game is promising social features to connect Firefly fans and is cross-platform, but the developers also say that they too get chills when they see the word social and promise that it will be a fleshed out game. And next we've got Flagship by Urban Logic Games. A single player, first person, real time strategy set on a galactic scale. Command your fleet, explore the stars and expand your territory while facing off in tactical ship to ship combat. Built from the start to be compatible with the Oculus Rift, VR might look pretty nice on this one. The game started on Kickstarter but they cancelled the campaign early because it wasn't getting anywhere near its goal. Development continues though just somewhat slower. The game looks great but whether it can reach completion without funding is another question. Then we have Ion by Improbable Worlds. Said to be inspired by Space Station 13, this is a space MMO where you live, build, and die in player-created galactic construction. A persistent galaxy where you'll have to survive, and survival goes so far as to simulate functioning human organs. Now, the developer is the creator of DayZ, and we haven't seen all that much so far, so a lot of people are wondering whether this will ever be completed. Just be very cautious with this one, and make sure you know what you're getting into before spending any money. Next we have Defect Spaceship Deconstruction Kit by Three Phase Interactive. A game that allows you to build a ship piece by piece from a single fighter pilot to moon-sized space stations. The twist is that your crew will defect, 
forcing you to face your own creation. This adds a new challenge to design as you have to build a formidable ship that you will also be able to take down in the future, so you intentionally design weaknesses. A free demo version has been out and it's coming to early access on Steam, so we should be getting a good look at this one. Next up we have Everspace by Rockfish Games. Here we have a single player roguelike space shooter. As a pilot in Everspace you will explore, gather resources and uncover secrets while fighting and upgrading your ship and character. Non-linear storytelling is a feature where each run you will uncover more of the story with no major event being repeated. You also move through sectors kind of like an FTL. They've raised 450,000 euros in funding, unlocking some of the stretch goals on Kickstarter too. The stylistic visuals look stunning and combat seems fast-paced. If they can deliver on all their promises, this one could be a good one. And then we've got Angels Fall First by Strangely Interactive. In development for over seven years by an indie team, this is a first-person combined arms space war game, including infantry, armor, starfighters, and space battleships. Up to 64 players, servers with large-scale assaults and hectic infantry combat. Having AI bots is part of the game, meaning you won't have a shortage of targets, and you can play offline too. Currently available on Steam in Early Access, we're able to get a good look at this one, and it's received mostly positive reviews. This is a big project and the developers have no official funding so far. Hopefully from this point forward they'll be able to complete their vision and not spread themselves too thin with such a big game. Alright and finally I'm going to mention the two space games that we've already been watching but as they've been in the spotlight for years I'm not going to put them in the top 10. They are Star Citizen and No Man's Sky. We all know about them by now, so you don't need me to tell you to watch them, but if you haven't heard of them before, go check them out now. Now, most of these games should be releasing in 2016, but either way, you should keep an eye on development to see if these games will be made of the right star stuff or fall beyond the event horizon. And to wrap up, here's something I'd like to know. With all these space games on the market, what features are the selling point for you? How do you choose which ones to play? Alright, that wraps up my top 10 PC space games to watch in 2016. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did drop me a like or share it with your friends. The support is always appreciated. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.